Jason, we're moments away from finding out everyone's IQ. How are you feeling? Good. I mean, I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. This is really important to me uh, to do well. Um, I'm feeling a little bit confident, you know, I, I, that I'm going to score decently, um, but I really want that number one spot, and I just want to get this over with. Now, who, who are you uh, pitted up against? Well, obviously, the pace, right? Yeah, obviously, everyone keeps telling you know people coming up. You got to beat the pace. You got to beat the pace. I want to beat the pace because we argue all the time, and I don't want him to have a trump card uh, to go. I'm smarter than you, um, Gary. I think is going to do really well. Um, I think uh, JD should do really well, um, and I think Ralph's going to do really well. Uh, but obviously, the uh, the mano e mano match, uh, if there is one for me, is uh, me and Scott. So uh, you know, got to beat him. All right, man, good luck. We'll see what happens. Thanks, dude. I'm going to need it. How you feeling? Fine. What this is my second I might lose 100 bucks, but that's about it. What do you think about all these uh, bets going on? <laughs> yeah, a bunch of gambling maniacs here. <laughs> so, hey, you know what? We're power to them. They got the money to do it? Let them. Do any of these bets bother you? Like, no. keep no. betting against you? No. <laughs> Listen, you know, let them lose money or, you know, they want from me. Are you, uh, are you nervous about finding out your score? No, because I think I did pretty well. Really? Yeah. If you had to guess, what would you uh, say your score is? Maybe a 70 or an 80. Who knows? 70 or an 80? Yeah. Hey, you're fine with that? Yeah, I mean, you know. That, that's, that's below average. Uh, look, at least I tried to take it. You took it seriously, the test? Yes. Because the woman said if, you, if there were no points taken off if you just try. Yeah. And that's what I did, I tried. You tried your best, that's all you can do. That's right. How are you feeling about all these bets going on? Uh, well, I'm going to win either way because I bet against myself. That's, <laughs> I think, the smartest thing to do. You bet against yourself and then either you win money or you're smart. So I win either way. I bet Benji 25 bucks that I won't be in the top four. So if I lose, that means I'm in the top four and I'm happy. If I win, I so win you, 25 bucks. It's a win-win situation. It's a win-win situation, and that's why I'm cool as the summer breeze. You're no dummy. Exactly. I'm smart. I'm not dumb, like people say. How are you feeling about this? I'm feeling pretty good about it. Really? That is until I find out what I got. <laughs> and if that freaking retard beats me, or if they find out I'm dull, that's bullshit. Bullshit. It better not happen. What do you think? What do you think your score is? You have any idea? I have no idea what. If you, if you had to guess, what would you say? If I had to guess, realistically, I would say in the high 90s high 90s so average average intelligence yeah i was well i was gonna say before that if i got over 100 i think that would be good but since um the low score is 61 high score is 122 i don't know if i got 100 but we'll see all right jeff we'll soon find out Stay tuned, motherfucker. <laughs> How are you feeling about this, man? Um, great. Great. Pretty confident? Uh, confident? No, I, I, I don't say, I don't think confident. I mean, I'm just, I think it's fun. It's fun. I could win some money. I took a test I never would have taken, you know. I think it's interesting. What do you think about all these side bets going on? I love it. Any of them bother you about people betting against you? No, whatever. You know, like... Nobody really thinks I'll do well, so if I don't do well, then, you know, eh. but if I do well, you, you know, it's, it's a win-win situation for me. Everybody thinks I'm a dummy. <laughs> <laughs> how you feeling, man? I just want it to be done. Just get it over with? Just get it over with. How do you feel Pull about all... Pull my pants down, fuck me in the ass, and let's go home. <laughs> how do you feel about all these bets going on? Um, I haven't, you know, I think the most interesting thing I got out today that Benji doesn't think I'm even in the top five. How, yeah, like, how does that make you feel, like, these people betting against you? I, I, you know, I don't, I, I understand people betting that I'm not, most of the betting is Gary's not the 122. Uh, Gary, we think, is third. We think Scott's smarter than Gary, we think Jason's smarter than Gary. All of those are feasible, but, but I think Benji has Richard being smarter than me and me not being very smart at all. 
It's an interesting, now you know what people think of you. Yeah, that says something about that. It does. I got to believe I'm smarter than Gary, so I'm surprised we're that close, but I feel confident. I think I'll pull it out. What do you think about all these bets going on? Um, the bets are weird because it, it's like, it's not like you, it's a hard thing to bet on because I really felt going into this thing that I would win it. And then all of a sudden everyone's telling me that Jason's going to win it. And I started to believe them. So, uh, you know, so, so it's been hard to bet on that, on that stuff, but some of it's quite funny. Like, like these, the Sal, uh, compared to Richard and, and, uh, the high, uh, high pitch Eric against, uh, Jeff the drunk. So who knows? I hope, I hope to win some money. I have a hundred bucks on you. You better not fucking hang me out that you're going to be better than, than Sal. You think you're smarter than Sal? All right, guys, come on in. Who ain't? You better. Who ain't? You better be smarter than Sal. Ganji's going to lose that bet. I'm going to prove it. I'll prove it. No matter what I say. Could be a bunch of hot air right now about Ganji. But let's see who wins the bet. I'm smarter than Jeff the drunk. And if I'm not, fuck it. Who cares? Ganji, I'm not giving Ganji the money anyway. <laughs> I'll pay him with a dollar bill. He'll think it's, he'll think it's 100 That's how we pay Beetlejuice Juice on the road. It works like a job. It is time to find out the IQ Ooh, situation now. Yes. All of the people who took the IQ test are actually uh, in the studio standing here. I'm looking at uh, JD, Ralph, Gary, Jason, Scott, Jeff the Drunk, the very thin Richard Christie, Sal Gubernale, and hi, Pitch Eric. The only person who is not here is Wendy the Retard, who I have on the phone. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Howard. Are you excited to find out your IQ? Yes. All Did right. you have fun taking the test? Yes. What was your most fun part? The blocks? Yes. Yes. My too. Uh, oh, see, I'm, I'm <laughs> now not my confident too. in my bed. <laughs> Jeff the Drunk, your favorite was the blocks? It was. Yeah, you like blocks. I loved it. Yeah, okay. Now, um... Wendy, I'm going to ask you to hold on while I get Dr. Sit and Dr. Mugley on the phone. Dr. Okay. Sit. Okay, let me get Dr. Sit first and lock Dr. Sit in. Actually, and I should be confident in my bet. Dr. Mugley is over there. Dr. Mugley, Dr. Sit, hi. Hi. Hello, Howard. Now, Hello. Dr. Sit is calling in from Israel, Jerusalem, Israel. And, What's uh, he doing there? He's on a IQ mission. A secret, a secret IQ mission. <laughs> Top secret IQ mission. <laughs> Dr. Sit, you administered how many tests? I administered six out of the uh, nine tests. Six out of nine, and Dr. Mugley, obviously, you did three. I did, yeah. who did you, Dr. Mugley, who did you test? I tested um, Richard, Ralph, and High Pitch Eric. Okay. Richard, Ralph, and High Pitch Eric. By the way, Ralph told me he was very attracted to you. Oh. I don't know if that factors into the test. He said he was a little distracted. I thought she was very cute, so if I do badly, it's her fault. <laughs> I was very distracted. Very nice legs. Were you everything. able to concentrate, or were you busy looking over Dr. Mugley's situation? I was looking at her. It took me a while to settle in. Dr. Mugley, are you a married woman? Um, I am not married. Oh. oh. Hey, now. <laughs> hey, but I don't want to date an idiot. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I might have an IQ, I might not have a high IQ, but you have nice legs, evidently. All right. Uh, now, Dr. Mugley and Dr. Sit, uh, you administer these all the time, and uh, we are excited. We know that you are legitimate IQ testers. And I said something before I give the results, and I'm about to give them, and I want Dr. Sit and Dr. Mugley to back to me up on this. To verify this. That, um, you know, boys... I think you're all very brave for taking this. Except for high pitch and right. Jeff the drunk. I mean I, I mean, I tried. I mean, the doctor said to me, you don't get points taken off for trying. Right. <laughs> and you don't think he's the dimwit? You know what? That, Come on. That pretty much seals the deal. Let me give you your money now. All right. She thought it was Jeff. There's no way. Jeff's beating the high pitch. But Jeff loved the blocks. He did. I did. No. Uh, the doctors, the, what I am trying to say is, you are all, what's what? wrong? Well, he's like dripping sweat. Are you all right? What's wrong? Why are you I'm sweating? fine. You're fine. I'm fine. There's something all over sweat. his arm, like wow. snot or something. Oh, God. Sweat. Oh, Why keeps... are you sweating? Do you want to sit down? Can yeah, you handle I this? I think I should. You know, give him a chair to sit in. What are oh, I going to wipe it with? Put your dumb hat down. <laughs> Wipe yourself off. Oh, he's tripping. Why are you sweating? Are you nervous about the results? Yeah. You are. All you right, know what? Howard. Can, can you know what? I you also... think he's not dull? He couldn't figure out how to take those napkins. <laughs> uh, you know what? You're right. Hi, Pitch. You might have beaten you, him. Robert. 
<laughs> if somebody has a folding chair, give him his seat because, uh, for Christ's sake, I mean, the guy looks like he's going to collapse. Howard, he also stinks really oh, bad. Oh, Jeff, yeah. it's, it's a combination of cigarettes I've, and, and uh, sweat. I, it's, no, uh, it's horrible. No. Jeff, I fucking I used the other, I took a fucking shower <laughs> 10 minutes before I got in. <laughs> it's horrible. Did you, you fucking jerk off. Jeff, <laughs> Jeff, I hope you beat him in the tent. <laughs> yeah, never. Um, by the way, what you're smelling on Jeff is raw intelligence, as the doctor can tell you. Uh, raw. Jeff, you showered, right? I did. I okay. took a shower and deodorized. All right. Ass wipe. How many cigarettes did you smoke? Too many. Okay. Now, listen. I had to smoke something. I'm so fucking fat. I know. What happened? You're, 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 Because I quit smoking and I got fat. Oh, my God. What do you weigh? I weigh fucking 280. Wow. Hey, Howard, is he smoking again? Yeah. 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 So he quit smoking, got fat, and then started smoking. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Jeff, that's the plan to trim down. Jeff has like a second head growing out the back of his uh, neck. It's, it's fatty, disgusting. Fatty, <laughs> fatty fucking tissue. Oh, no. All right, leave him alone. And, right. and then he's... Oh, my God, they're picking him up. What am I, a fucking oh, science that's experiment? That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which one of you doctors actually did the Jeff the Drunk? Uh, examination. Uh, the one with the I cute have ass. Of spending two and a half drunk hours with Jeff. Oh, right. Boy. All right. Well, let's get to it, guys. Let's get to it. Come Most on. All right. Long. What are we doing? Top to bottom or bottom to top? I'm going to start off with the lowest, but I did want to make one statement. I made it earlier. You're all very brave. Yes, Jeff, you two in high pitch. Because it's not easy to hear these numbers. And, and let me tell you something. I made this point. Some of the gut most successful guys in business that I know are not high IQ guys. Your motivate oh, the doctor's he's vomiting from my my lecture. <laughs> doctors, won't you agree that like for I was saying to the guys, who's making that noise? Wendy? Oh, it's gotta yeah. be. You don't think it's the doctor. Right, doctor get my speech. What I'm saying is this doesn't measure how successful you'll be in life. Am I correct, doctors? Correct. Right. Without a doubt. There's definitely connections or correlations with certain types of success, but it does not mean that if you have a low IQ, you can't be a superstar and a CEO, and does not mean if you have the highest IQ that you're going to be the top of a company. Doctor, really I don't know not. my IQ, but I made the point. I said, I can go on the radio and be funny. I can go on Letterman and be funny. I, you take a look at Chris Rock or Richard Pryor. I don't know if these guys have the highest IQ, the lowest IQ, but they are a success. But we do know these numbers will subject them to ridicule. That's true. <laughs> Let me just focus on our goal here. Doctors, do you know your own IQs? Um, I don't, actually. You don't want no, to? Know. Neither do I. When you learn it in, in school, you, you're out of, the, out of the running. You can no longer, once you know the test, you can't sit for it. I right. see. I mean, we've both administered the test so many times that I actually have some of the answers memorized that when I'm administering it, so it wouldn't be accurate if somebody gave the test to me. So Right. What is it? Uh, a quick question. You, you, two, what different, is it, Ralph? two different doctors administering the test. It's open to interpretation. Is there a plus or minus, like a point or two <laughs> difference between you, what you guys could have? You know what I mean? Bravo. Good you question. Managed. Thank you. I'm smart. Hey, Wendy. Wendy. Uh, no, no offense. What's going on there with Wendy? Uh, I, I better get She's to the possessed. result. Wendy, you all right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Let, <laughs> let's stop the chat. I, I just need to make one point. It's important that everyone knows that we have been given full permission by all of the staff to share this because to share the information with your audience. Right. Because confidentiality in our business is of the utmost importance. So I just want right. to make that. Very clear that we got specific permission right. to share whatever. Yes. We're not going to kill ourselves. Well, anybody here feel like they're going to kill themselves if they are stupid? Sal. Sal, are you going to? I'm dead inside already. Oh, <laughs> so Sal looks bummed already. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I'm going to get to the person who was the lowest. Uh, many people think it's Wendy. The person with the lowest IQ... <laughs> and I don't know if it gives the actual number next to the yes. name, does it? It does. Absolutely. Okay. It does, yeah. All right, here we go. Doctors, thank you. You're opening an envelope? Is that what you're doing? No, actually, I was picking my nose. Oh. I didn't want you to see. <laughs> but that had nothing to do with the results. <laughs> all right. Oh, my God. Wendy? Listen to Wendy today. Wendy, are you all right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to say I think Wendy's going to mark in at the lowest, but watch this. Wendy, what, during the test, did the doctors rape you repeatedly? Yes. Uh, <laughs> you didn't even know that, doctors, did you? No. They gave us explicit permission. All right, here we go. 
input for me. Here we go. The person with the lowest IQ is. <laughs> Who's the winner? Wendy the retard at 61. And, and what, Wendy, do you think, what do you think of that number? I'll That's tell you a what. Great number. Wendy, you did great. Did you know that you, you tested his I would have thought Wendy was like in the 30%, you know, like 30 or something like that. Wendy, you did great. Thanks, Howard. Uh, you were a 61, which means that you are, according to this chart, Hold on, I'm going to tell you. A lot you. of relieved people in the room. Yeah, no. Sal's, Sal's jumping. Everybody's high fiving me. <laughs> hey, Howard, um, I, thought, I thought that was me for a second. 61. No, 61 means mild mental retardation. So you're only mildly mentally retarded, Wendy. Yeah. There are people who have profound <laughs> mental retardation. There are people who are feeble, you know, severe. Uh, there, there's even people who are like uh, like vegetables. So her name should really be Wendy the, the mild retard. In fact, Wendy's almost not retarded. Yeah. What would she be? What's the next step up? What could she uh, 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 anything uh, aspire above a, to? Anything above a 70 would have been borderline deficiency in intelligence. So she's Wendy the deficient here. <laughs> right, right. Under 70 is feeble-minded. So she's, so she's feeble-minded. Okay. Yeah. Wendy, we congratulations. You should be Wendy the feeble-minded one. Yes. All right. So good, good for you. Doctors, were you surprised of her high level? They, they're actually, oh. Wendy's the only one that they didn't test because right. Wendy was in Florida. Ah. Mm. Yeah. All right, Wendy, in purposes of keeping the phone lines clean, I'm going to say goodbye to you. Okay. All right, Wendy, thank you. Uh, Bye. Bye-bye. See, she's going to have a great day. Yeah. Well, she, she actually did very well. You know. All right, now let's get down let's to go. it. Right. The second stupidest person. <laughs> oh, Jesus. The yeah. person who is closest Gary, to Wendy. Why are you looking at me for? <laughs> I have heavy money, Eric, that you're going to be there. big money. That your this name is, is coming up next. Money for me. I got big money on Either you, Either it's coming in or it's going out. Hey, Eric, there are a lot of people who believe Jeff the Drunk is going to be the next name. Well, can I ask Eric something? Is there somebody Never. here that you think that you're smarter than in this group that's right here? I don't know. I mean, I, I know I'm smarter than you know, the, the person who used to work here at KC. Right. All right. All right. Well, everyone agrees with that. <laughs> Jeff, you think you beat high pitch? Without a doubt. What if the name here is one of the staff? Oh. <laughs> Please, dear God, no. And right. that would be a surprise. Right. <laughs> Eric, I've got heavy money that your name yeah, is going to be announced next. Smart. Uh, Robin uh, seems to feel that Jeff Currow will be the next name announced. Am I correct, Robin? <laughs> yes. She's a bitch anyway. Right. <laughs> Wendy the Retard was, was the lowest score. The second lowest score is... Scott to pace. Get out. No, no, I'm just kidding. I didn't even look. All right, here we go. <laughs> that would have been great. I wasn't buying it for a second. All right, the on. second lowest score next to Wendy was... Oh, Jesus, don't look at me. What? Don't look at me. <laughs> Sal, it is not you. Oh, thank God. The second lowest score is... Me. What? Me? Take it easy over there. High pitch Eric with a 66. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dang. Whoa. That's unbelievable. Uh, You're saying that Eric is five points smarter than Wendy? Absolutely. Holy, <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Eric. Oh, wow. I thought Eric, you were a lot retarded. smarter than that. You just made a wow. lot of money for a lot of people. You did. And you cost, and wow. cost me a lot of cost money. It cost you money, That's too, right. Howard. Sick. That's right. No, but actually, Eric is is uh, only feeble. That's it. You're not dull. You're only feeble. So that's pretty good, right? How is that yeah. po- Howard, how is that possible? Anything is possible. All right, Eric, are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> we knew you weren't the brightest bulb. Hey, hey Howard. Who did you think, Eric, who did you think you were going to be? Maybe... Maybe Jeff. Yeah, well, we're gonna I find out now. Yeah. Maybe Scott the Pace. <laughs> right. Really I thought I thought you might be Scott the Pace. <laughs> Me too. All right, go ahead. I know that Dr. Mugley, she's the one that gave Eric the test. She yeah. had some concerns that he was being serious when he took the test. Really? Yeah, you should ask her because it's interesting. Her. What is, what is your explanation, Dr. Mugley? Well, um, I mean, I, I I don't know just because I don't have information on um, Eric's past functioning or current functioning that it's really hard for me to say whether this IQ is 100% valid just based on his effort during the testing and that's why during the testing I was kind of encouraging him basically okay 
please try, put an effort, you don't get points taken off for Eric, guessing. the doctor feels you didn't try hard enough. I, d- I, I did try. Mm. You did? Well, yes. You say you didn't because... <laughs> no, 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 I know I tried. You really did try? Yes. Okay. You did your best? <laughs> yes. Dr. Oh, Mugley feels... She's, listen, she's she, been around. She knows things. She's done this test a lot. Howard, honestly, I did. Maybe you threw the test so you could, you should be extra stupid. No. Howard, he I, doesn't I, want anybody expecting anything I, from I, him. I, this I, is I, another I, scheme. I did try. You did try? Yeah. He said that to me in the elevator. He said she kept telling me, you know, at least try. Maybe Dr. Mugley couldn't believe. <laughs> what, was he not going to answer at all? Dr. Mugley, what made you think he wasn't trying that hard? Well, I, it just based on sort of the testing, I mean, behavior and kind of what was where he, how he was doing on the test and, and whatnot. I mean, maybe I, she like, thought maybe she thought he was putting on a goofy voice or something. Yeah, well, that's his real voice. No, I know that's his real voice. Hey, right. do, do, can I ask Dr. Michael, so a person with a 66, can they, you know, by most of your accounts, can they live on their own, function on their own? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the thing. I mean, that's a that's an extremely low. It's in the first percentile. Right, and you would think... <laughs> See, that's my point. So, I so you want something. Eric, and Eric, Eric does live independently from right. what you told me, and he does... I, I think he has a job, but see, I don't know all these he things. He does. I don't know his past he hands out cups. jobs. And, right, so I... I Usually, you would you might need some assistance if so you have doctor, an IQ this low. So this you're, is not doctor, valid. Doctor, you're absolutely right because either he's the biggest overachiever in the world, which is it's, in other words, for a man of his intelligence, he's gotten very far. Uh-huh. Or what's the other explanation? He threw he the test. He threw the test. Do you think no. he might have thrown the test? No. You didn't throw the I test. Try my, I tried. I tried my best. Wow. Taking the test. Re- re- so you realize how successful you are in life. You like the greatest, but, but it's success. all based on the Howard Stern show. He scams people, gets Howard. jobs because of it. It's not like but he's he lives going, on his own. But he's getting a job. Somebody's hiring no, no, him because no, he's no, a goofy no, no, guy. No, no. He pays the Howard Stern. The doctor is saying he shouldn't be able to live on his own. He shouldn't be able to eat. He pays his own bills. Like he knows how to write a check to pay. You a write bill. checks, right? No. Oh, you don't. <laughs> what do you mean you don't write checks? No, no, no. I mean I get direct deposit from work and I pay my bills from there. Oh, you so you do pay bills? How do, how do you pay your bills? With my ATM card. All right, so he can do that. Yeah. He's got to put an ATM card yeah. in, know where to go. That's why the doctor thinks you're higher level. I think ATM's harder than writing a check. doctor thinks you're smarter than what you indicated on the test. But Howard, I think I did the same thing when I got tested a while back. Can I say something, Eric? I do believe you tried very hard, and I believe the result of this test. See, I'm, and I don't the believe hardest, the result. The, the hardest thing with the blues, the, the blocks. The blocks? Yeah. Uh, blocks seem to throw a lot Which, of which may have been the easiest thing. All right. Eric? And, and some of the questions are hard, too. Like, oh, okay, I won't give out the questions because right, you might right, do this right. again. All right, Eric, you're number two. Okay. All right. Now, we, now and, we start the fun. And now the fun begins, Eric. <laughs> and by the way, Eric... I'm impressed with how high you actually, how well you get along in life. Without a good score. So congratulations to you. Thank you. All right. Very successful right. young man. That's a way to put a score. All right. On. Now, is All anybody right. on the staff lower now get than get the fuck out. No. Yeah. That was yesterday. Yeah. But is anybody on the staff lower than Jeff the Drunk? Wow. All right. The here we go. exciting thing we're going to find out. The only person outside the staff is Jeff the Drunk. Many people have speculated that Jeff the Drunk will be the next name mentioned. Many people have said Jeff might surprise everyone that someone on the staff might be dumber than Jeff the Drunk. And, now so give and we haven't even gotten to the what? dull person yet. No, Eric didn't even make dull. That's right. So I got someone 50 on our, from That me. means someone on our staff could be dull or Jeff could Howard, yes, because yesterday on the phone you said to me... You, you are not dull. You thought you're I was lo- dull. You're, d- you're lower than dull. <laughs> you're you're duller than dull. dull. You're feeble-minded. <laughs> if you work hard, you can be dull. You didn't make dull. <laughs> <laughs> but you're, functioning, you. but you you're functioning like a dull person. Yeah, we have to work your way up to dull. That's right. Okay. <laughs> you're a functioning idiot. But everyone agrees you're a bore. <laughs> All right, Eric, now it is time to find out If Jeff the Drunk is the next person in line, as many people have speculated, even myself, Jeff, or did you beat some of the people on the staff? Why are you getting me prepped? All right. (laughs) We'll see. The third person. Sal, you look nervous. You don't want to get beaten by Jeff. It's not Sal. No, I do not. I bet you it is. I do not. I bet you it's not. I bet you we're going to hear Sal next. Mm. Please, God, no. (laughs) If there is one. He's all of a sudden praying. J.D., you're laughing. You think this is funny. (laughs) I love seeing Sal in so much pain. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you, J.D. I love how Sal's looking for God The third person (laughs) on the list. From the bottom up. From the bottom up. Next to High Pitch Eric. With a score of 89, 
Which would make him dull. Which would make him dull, <laughs> but not retarded. <laughs> is. Come on. Say it already. Oh, don't look at me. Ralph, uh, it is not you. <laughs> <laughs> you scared me. <laughs> no, I'm not dumb. Jeff the drunk. Oh. Jeff the drunk. All right. Very nice, though. 89. I, I, I I'm just not Jeff. dull, though. No. Yes, you, you well, are. I'll tell you if you're dull or not. You. Let me see. Thank you, Robert. Let me see if you're dull. Um, you are... Let's see. 70 to 79 is borderline deficiency. 80 to 89 is dull. So you're at the top you're of the dull. You're at the top of you're the dull. You're almost normal. You're at the, the top of the normal. heap dull. No. I'm going to have to take it. You're, you're a point away from being normal. Which is, so congratulations. A little surprised at that. Howard. Why are you surprised? I thought he was like a 95-ish. You thought he was smarter 90, than that. I thought he was smarter than that. No, he's dull. I, gotta give, I, gotta, I have to say something in Jeff's defense here. Yes. Yes. Jeff, as we all know, has, is... You know, handicapped with his dominant hand, with his right hand. Yes. yes. Some of the tests that are administered here require someone to use their hand. Ah. Uh-huh. And Jeff did his best with his left hand, but if you, you know, in looking at the details of his score, without a doubt, the tests that required him to use his hand and, you know, to use a pencil and to draw and to, to uh, really move quickly mm. with his hands were his lowest scores. Uh, ah, oh. so he might have had a few more. So points. I'm normal. He could have gotten into the Let's normal. think of you as normal. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're in the there's no way you could be dull. Dude. I'm ordinary. There's no way you're ordinary. You're, you're extraordinary. I'm no, but so, so, Doctor, would it be fair to say in Jeff's case, because of his unusual handicap, that he could have lost points, IQ points? Yes, he oh, could. Okay. And if this were a more elaborate <laughs> testing where we would, we, we really rarely give one test to evaluate someone in right. total. No. If we would give more, without a doubt, Jeff's strong points and his strengths. Would Very good. Up. Jeff, you can feel good. Thank you. You're probably normal. How d- we don't know 100%, hey. but we feel you're probably normal. How did Jeff lose the arm? Uh, he lost it in, in an car accident, accident, car accident. Okay, not his fault. Then. All right. There you go. Well, he was drunk. Actually, it wasn't his <laughs> fault. Oh, it was his fault. He was drunk, so he's stupid. Driving. So you, so well, he, he wasn't it. driving. Oh, I thought he was. Uh, so, so can Jeff stop sweating now? Yeah, <laughs> Jeff, are you, are you feel a little better now? Yeah. Yeah, all right. All right. Okay. Okay, now we get to the Now meat. for the rest of the dummies. We've gotten to the meat. All right. Now we get down to it. Fortunately for my staff... <sighs> High pitch, Wendy and Jeff <laughs> did not <laughs> beat you. Did not beat you. Would you have fired somebody? <laughs> the person closest to Jeff, high pitch, and Wendy the retard. Oh, who could it be? Who do you think it is? Coming in with an IQ of 102. Oh, that's not bad. 102, putting him in the normal range, but at the low end of the normal range. Uh. Let me double check that. 102 would be, yes. Sort of in the average room. or normal, but at the lower end. What is average or normal? The range? 90 to 109. Well, that's sort of in the middle. Coming in at 102. I'm doubting everything now. I could be the 102. This is, this is horrible. <laughs> Look at Jason is sweating. <laughs> I'm going to throw up. <laughs> I can't take Jason, this. Jason, there's no way it's you. <laughs> Once you cross 100, it could be anybody. Jason. Yeah, that's true. Jason. It's not you. Uh. <laughs> Coming in at 102 is... Gary, it's not you. Uh. I, knew that. Right. I knew that. You should see their but face. I did get, Wait to see Howard Sal, TV. Sal's going to pass what? out. I know. Sal's going to pass out. Right, there's, there's sweat on my upper brow, and it, it's like I, when you said that, I knew it wasn't me, but it still felt like a punch. Right. But what, Sal's we'll not see even on TV. breathing. This is very American Idolish because the guys almost <laughs> buckle when I say their name. Yeah. It's, you, know, what is this you won't see it in my reaction because Jason has taken up all the space. <laughs> <laughs> Make a little get, get Scott over. on camera. You're blocking out. You've been standing behind me the entire time. Move up. You don't want to stand next to Jeff. That's You're why so you won't move. Fat. God. Just move up. It seems stand next to Jeff. Jeff, look, there's plenty of space right well, there. There you go. He smells, you're fat, <laughs> and you're bald. <laughs> and and Tom, it, it, it turns out that uh, Jason, I don't know if he's the highest IQ, but he, he's the heaviest. Yes, <laughs> right. and I win. All right. Coming in at number four with an IQ of 102 on my staff is Sal Governal. All right. Sal, what's All the right. matter, Sal? Sal, not bad. 102, you're normal. Sally, yeah. you're normal. Right. Sure. What, you're upset? <laughs> he's just above Jeff. Well... This is something you want to say. 
<laughs> you just you beat Jeff. <laughs> Big <Hyphen>. fucking deal. <laughs> uh, <laughs> for the I'm at a loss of words. Oh, 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 oh. Richard is hugging so. Richard, what, what's going through your mind? I, just, I don't like to see him upset. It's I just right. find him. <laughs> it's all right. Over a hundred is good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> By two points, dude. A hundred two is good. You're yeah, normal you're intelligence. Normal. Yeah. Isn't, isn't that better than you thought it would be? Didn't we have Sal between ninety five, not breaking a hundred? Uh, yeah. In 80? fact, I know I lost money on him. Yeah. You did. You lost five hundred to me. That's right. Just because I said right. Richard's smarter. Well, that's good. I'm I'm normal. That's good. Nobody's ever said I'm normal in my life, so this is actually you're pretty normal, good. You're normal. It's ironic that right. for an IQ test, I'm actually being called normal. Uh, any, <laughs> anybody else want to weigh in on their thoughts, Gary? I just, just Sal, was there an expectation in your mind that you would do better than you did? I thought I would be anywhere between 89 and 105. So well, then you, you did great. Yeah, you did great. Right well, no, I wasn't proud of that, my right. expectations at all. <laughs> yeah. I, I bet I bet if you take the IQ of a lot of the guys that look at piss websites, like <laughs> Sal is on the high end. <laughs> Were you hoping you beat Richard in a way? No, no, no. I hope Richard sweeps this whole thing. You wanted to be JD, though, right? <laughs> no, I love no. JD. I just wanted to do well for All right, myself. well, you know what? It turns out you're not retarded. You're normal right. intelligence. You miss dullness. You miss dullness. But I am... Quite a few points. I still think I'm very creative. Uh, which is good. You can't measure that in a test, right, Doctor? He's very creative. He makes fun of That is correct. This right. does not go near creativity. We know, Sal, Thank you're you. very creative. Did he oh, score high in anything? Doctor, Doctor Sit, you gave Sal his test? Yeah. Uh, Dr. Sid, I understand at one point during one of Sal's answers, you laughed. Uh, yeah, Sal's a funny guy. <laughs> he wasn't trying to be funny. Not one bit. Uh, all right, Dr. Sid, we're going to move on now. I'm normal. Good. All right, so Sal is the lowest out of the staff. Wow. All right. That hurts. But you're normal. <laughs> Depends how you look at it. This is a staff that you don't want to have that happen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> Right, there's six of us left, right? One, two, yep. three, four, five, six, seven. Coming in at number five, right next to Sal, uh, with a score of 106, four points higher than Sal. Wow. <laughs> there could be a lot of people. You know, uh, Richard, they call you guys a team, don't they? <laughs> I would actually be very happy if I'm really close to Sal. <laughs> well, Richard, you're not that close to Sal. You're oh, not the next person in wow. line. Hmm. Uh -uh. Sorry, Sal. Ralph, uh, you've could, made fun of a lot of people, don't you? Yeah, it could be me because I lot, did really bad on a part of this. There's a lot of times, Ralph, you're bragging you're so smart, but a lot of people question that, don't they? Right, they do. Well, guess what? They're right. You're not that close to Sal either. Okay. Gary. Uh-oh, so who does fuck. that leave? <laughs> Wow. Gary, you and Sal often have words, and Sal's been calling you a horse-toothed jackass for a long time, isn't he? That is true. Yeah. And uh, you say, you know what, Sal, shut up. At least I'm smart and you're dumb. Right. But guess who's closest to Sal in the IQ? Who? J.D. Not you, Gary. I thought so. Oh, no. I was pretty... The only three names left are J.D., Jason, and Scott. Oh, wow. Who's making Scott? <laughs> Scott, you've been bragging. Yeah. You've been saying how bright you are. Guess what? It's not me. It's JD. JD, you oh, have soccer. it. JD 106. Right. Normal intelligence. Nothing to be embarrassed about there. Thank I'm you for the hundy, Fred. Uh, you got it, my friend. <laughs> I'm fine. All right. Should it be? 106, listen. Fuck you, asshole. What was that? You, <laughs> feel, you feel he's uh, of inferior intelligence, Jason? Uh, yeah, I'm just, I get to hear his fucking ass. I thought time. I thought JD would have done better. I'm surprised by his score. What, what, uh, what's wrong with 106? Are we saying uh, he's uh, below? What is that? What's wrong with that? I, I, I don't know. I don't I I don't know. I thought he's smart. Good luck with your 122, <laughs> asshole. I don't know if I have 122. I'm sorry for having more confidence in you than you could produce. Uh, uh, what? I thought you would have scored higher. That's all. I feel bad for you. <laughs> don't feel bad. <laughs> Anyone shocked by this so far? You, Howard, you know, it's interesting. JD and I took like a month before an IQ test online. Right. He got a 106. And that's interesting. So it would confirm that the doctors know what they're doing. And on and that, that one, I got a 126. Oh. oh. I got, I got Robin, a one. I want to bet. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I, I got a 110 online. You I'll did? say that now. All right. Yes, so you're and next. I, JD, not bad. Uh, Don't be I'm, ashamed. I'm fine. I'm not ashamed. All right. I'm okay.
I Thank think you. I won 100 bucks anyway. So I just lost 25 to Benji because I'm in the top four. I think. Sal, how are you holding up? You seem to be lost in your thoughts. Are you okay? Where am I? <laughs> Did you think I'm you okay. were going to be JD? You probably. Oh uh, no, you know I'm happy for JD. You know, again, I'm happy for you. Imagine if you tested to be a moron. Yeah, like a lot of people. And the, uh, like strangely enough, you call me. A lot of people call me a moron every day, and today I proved that I'm not. So that's pretty you, good. They can pretty never good. call you that again. <laughs> yeah, I used to call high pitched Dolan. I shouldn't have. <laughs> I apologize to you. All right, thank you. All right, here we go. Jeff, you all right? I love, I love you yeah, too. I'm good. No, Jeff, you all right? Uh, high pitch, you okay? Yeah. Okay, all right. Everybody's all right, still okay. All right, the person who is closest to JD at 106. Let's get down to it as we get into our top. Who's five. left? Just give us the names of who's left, please. Well, sure. You've got Ralph, Richard Christie, Gary Delafate, <laughs> Jason Kaplan, and Scott DePace. The person. Who was next to JD in intelligence and, and num- came in number six with the number of with the number of 112 IQ. I got I got 110 and by online. The way, Uh-oh. 112, by the way. What is that? 112, Robin, would be superior intelligence. Nice. Okay, I would All like right, to say. You know what? Everybody actually, should feel pretty good now. Right. Anyone who's left is in the superior category. Yeah. I had I had actually I- convinced myself that I could be. As low as 110, but I was willing to accept 108. So I'm already, I'm already, already celebrating. I'm already celebrating. All right. The person. Technically, technically, you're the high average, by the way, Howard. High average. High average. Oh, high average is up until 119 is high average. Yes. Oh. High average. Ah. Okay. Because my chart says superior intelligence, 110 to 119. Your chart is no. stupid. All right, my chart's done, though. So, 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 your staff, doctors, so your staff, the best he got is a little bit of high averages. So 112 would be high average. That's why okay. That's right. the, person that who is, the person who is high average. Just into high average. Richard, you recently lost a lot of weight, didn't you? Yeah. Maybe it shaved a few points off your... <laughs> my Richard, brain, my uh, brain, Sean? It's not you. Oh. Wow, so Richard is... So, so Gary, right Gary you said you wouldn't be dissatisfied with the number uh, 112, That's and uh, congratulations, it's not you. Good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, it's no. got to be me. Oh, no. So, Scott... <laughs> it might be me. Jason. It's not you. Oh! It's Ralph. Yeah. Uh, Ralph had a 112. Ah. So, <laughs> Gary, Richard, uh, uh, Scott, and Jason are smarter than Ralph. Go ahead. Uh-huh. Richard is... We all knew that. Wait a minute. Ralph, you have been calling Richard a retard for a long time. He's smarter than you. See? I still, you know, I, I, it's going to be hard to argue because we both got the test from the same person. Right. But I still say Richard retarded. Because <laughs> if he's smarter than all that, then he shouldn't be living in a crib and wetting himself and all these other crazy things. Oh. Hey, hey Einstein to... had some eccentricities. Yeah. So. Uh, how do you feel and that I you're smarter say. than I feel Ralph? awesome. Yeah, because now I Ralph can sit and talk all he wants. Hey, he can say, say whatever you want about me, Ralph. And Go I ahead. I just feel vindicated because I was, I was way off on one call, but I have been telling you that Richard is really smart. Well, you are Thank right. You. you are absolutely right. Thank you. And uh, but and but the other sad part in this is that you are even further from Sal. You're sharing a room with somebody who's completely intellectually inferior. <laughs> what was my what was my score? One what? One twelve, Ralph. Yeah, I got a one ten online. Which so. is respectable. That's, right. That's a good score, but not as high as mine. Right. <laughs> Sal, That's are right. you? You took uh, ri- um, um, ra- uh, Ralph over Gary, didn't yeah, I, you? I, th- I, I don't know. I got to go look at my bets. Did I do well in anything? I, I don't know. Sucking dick. <laughs> <laughs> Was that in the test? Get Sam uh, Simon doctors, uh, Ralph wants to know, did he do well in anything? Was he super- Yeah, I mean, Ralph did uh, score it in the superior range on um, the perceptual reasoning index, so he, um, he did very well in some things. So. And what, what range was that? Superior. 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 In, in, yeah. in, uh, Perceptual what? reasoning or something. Where did he yeah. fall down? I failed miserably in the math, I know, and some of the questions. Well, you didn't really <laughs> fail miserably in anything, Ralph. To be, uh, yeah. So would you, I, doctor? I, would you say? Would you go out with Ralph? <laughs> based on his IQ? Oh, he's too stupid for that. No. <laughs> uh, you know, so many other things go into who you go out with besides their IQ, right? I'll How call you later, doctor. <laughs> that Ralph wants your number. He wants. You, he doesn't want your IQ. He just wants your digits. You've got two uh-huh. of his points. Sal, is it freaking you out that Richard is so much more intelligent Ooh. than you? No, that is not. No. Do you actually? You it's a compliment. This? It's a compliment. Yeah. Why is it a compliment? Because I work with him. I work with one of the smart smartest guys on, uh, on, on the, the staff, staff right. and I'm proud oh, of it. Thanks. Did you recognize that he was this much smarter than you? 
I don't know. You know. No. You just call me honey. I take everything back. He's speechless. Yeah. yeah all right. When it comes to prank calls, we have the exact same intelligence. <laughs> all right. Sure. Don't, you don't have to dumb it up he's, for us. He's always patronized uh, Sal, right. and he's still doing it. All right. We have a couple of people left. Here's who we have left. We have Richard Gary. Uh, Gary's so relieved he's uh, in the oh top. I'm happy, but here's what I got. Here's what I'm taking from this. Yeah. It's now very apparent Richard is the one who overachieved. Right. So that means that one of the three of us, me, Jason, or Scott, is probably one of the ones who underachieved. How badly? But not you, by much. How badly do you want to beat Scott, honestly? Yeah, at this point, I, I, I realize, what was the last score, 112? 112. At, at best, he's nine points better than me, because I'd have to have a 113 if I were next. Right, we're getting and close. At, at best, he'd have to be, so I think we're all starting to get in the same area. Right, the, yeah. the, the person with the 122 can be proudest, but uh, all not of you are not average. Much. Not that yeah. much, yeah. When, when the 112 was announced that it was Ralph, Gary and Jason almost hugged. And <laughs> no, no, I have so money, I have money on it. I, I just want 300 bucks. Well, and I have 10 points. with my, So with my 112, Scott has to have the 122 to win his bet against me. Uh, that's right. Oh, yeah. What do we do about uh, ties? Push. It's a push. It's push. a push. All right. It's a push. Yeah. All right. You have to be the smartest to win so your bet. So now I can only not, I yeah. can just push. Hmm. All right. Let's get down to it, gang. Here we go. The doctor's results are in. We're into the top four here. We're into the top four. You know, they say intelligence is something that is only a gift. What? You're either born with it or you're not. <laughs> you can't develop it. We're talking about raw intelligence and bragging rights now. Who will it be? Richard? Gary? Mm. Jason? Or Scott DePace? I've looked at the Actually, results. Actually, Howard, you must be relieved. <laughs> Because, you know, these are some of your decision makers. <laughs> yeah, this is some, that's right. This is, this is my cabinet, if you would compare me to the president. See, Robin's right. If your cabinet were right. Sal, Jeff, and Eric, how would you feel? All right. I'd feel as if I'm not making the right choice. Ass wipe. What, Don't what put it? me in that same category. I'm normal intelligence. Right. I'm, not I'm, that fact, far, maybe, I'm not that far ahead. So Gary, right. maybe you were sleeping when the doctor said that. Or you know, playing solitaire or sparkle. That's Sal pretty smart to do when you're working for the greatest entertainer in the world. The two doctors... Uh, Sal got a 102. What is that? Is that below average? What is that? That's just solid average. Solid average. All right. Solid, solid average. average. And, so, and, just like your teeth. Solid, Gary. <laughs> and JD is uh, a 106, so he's a little bit above solid average, right? <laughs> Also average. You know what? Sal oh, reminds no. me. You know those movies when they have the retards and they go, "I'm normal too." <laughs> Boys, the four left here. Who do you think is going to be the next? Who are your top three? Who do you think is going to be eliminated mm -hmm. next? Well, I'd like it to be Richard. Right. Well, I'd like it to be Scott. <laughs> yeah. I'd like it to be good. Gary. But, but I that. think it will be Richard, but it, it, um, it's, it could be me. I could be the underachiever. I will say one thing right now. I haven't been so surprised yet. Robin, who do you think is going to be the next dumbest person? Well, they're not anyone no one, dumb. No one's dumb. But who do you think is going to be the next one eliminated? Scott DePace. You do? That would be a shocker. Here. It's Gary. <laughs> I'd be surprised with that. All right. Um, who do you think? Jason Kaplan. You think it'll be Jason? High pitch, who do you think is going to be the next one? Scott DePace. You do? <laughs> oh, dear. Sal, who do you think will be the next one eliminated? <laughs> Gary Delabate. All right. Here we go. <laughs> what, what's that I smile? love this game. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like when you when you're about to read the scores, what's going on in your mind with the four? Well, how, how I want to retire? Oh, you looked at all the results now, right? I have not. I just I now know the name of the next person. Oh, I, I that's look all, at that's, I, all. that's okay. right. I what's, don't know. What is the score? Yeah. This person's score was a one seventeen. Not wow. bad not at all. Not bad for wow. anyone mentioned now. Yeah. So at this point, at this point, the final four are five points apart. Jason, would you be disappointed with a one seventeen? As a number, no. Not finishing number one would disappoint me. But I know everyone thinks that you were going to be number one. I hope you're not disappointed when I say this. You. But but you are not the person yes. with the one seventeen. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, Gary. Yeah, I, mean, I, I might as well not keep you in suspense. Uh, you're not the person. Wow. Whoa. Uh oh. Yes. Oh. Scott, unfortunately um, for you. You're not the person either. Oh. It's actually Richard Christie. <laughs> Our top three are Gary, Jason, and Scott. I don't know how they fall out, but Richard, you have an IQ of 117. So Richard, Thank you. Surprise. Bi big surprise. That's the big surprise, Thanks. right? Well, big Absolutely. surprise. Wow. All right. I'm very happy with that. You know, I did say early on with that drumming and the ability to read music and things, I yeah, consider that mathematical. Yeah, but you didn't convince yourself enough to bet on it. I, I pussied out. <laughs> uh, I, I, are you shocked, Ralph? He's way higher than you. I, well, no, five points. Way higher. Not way higher, but no. Don, Don, way higher. Uh, He's almost getting into higher. my future ex, range. my future ex girlfriend, Doctor Mugley. How, where did Richard do better than me? Everywhere. 
Um, Was there one area? More importantly, Dr. Mugley, is five points in this range pretty big? Because uh, you're talking the difference between um, average intelligence to a little bit superior, right? Well, they're both in the high average range. I mean, like Dr. Sitz said, the high average range is from 110 to 119. I see. And superior starts at 120. Okay. So So they're um, both high average. They're both high average, Ralph and and Richard. So where did Richard edge me out, can you say? I, it, it basically, it's, it's really hard to say. You had different breakdowns and different strengths and different areas. So, yeah. By the way, I don't know who needs IQ testing, but these two doctors are terrific. Check out Dr. Sid at mindfulconsultinggroup.com and drsit.com. And check out Dr. Mugley at psychologytoday.com. All right, we're getting into our top three now. Here's the big one. You know what? Everybody always said that this would be the top three. Here's what I got out of this. And and Dr. Mugley, by the way, if you had to date one of them, uh, would it be Richard or Ralph? (laughs) Ralph wants to know. He's asked me, he slipped me a note and asked me to to ask you that. (laughs) All right, never mind that. I can see you're very professional. She's smart enough not to answer. She's smart enough not to date any of these idiots. Here's what I got out of this, Howard. The last score was 117, correct? Go ahead. So so the next score has to be minimum 118. The top score is 122. Could be a tie. Someone could be another one. The, but the three, oh, that, well. No, I guess I guess it wouldn't right. be, yeah. So the, there's three of us within four points of each other. That's right. So we're pretty well. But tell me how badly you want to be the top guy. You <laughs> I, I got to tell you, I'm, uh, the, the, way, the way I was, uh, when I went home yesterday, the way it wrecked my fucking day, yeah. I was like ready to take a 108. Right. So one, anything above 115, so I know I'm at least a 118. Jason, you want to take the whole thing. You've said your whole self-esteem, you have nothing going on for you. You're not good looking. You don't have sports. Right. You don't have anything. Taking right. the top prize is most important. More than anything. All Look right. More than Will anything. Will laughing hysterically over yeah, here. Will loves it because Will knows the results. <laughs> That's uh, not fair. Scott DePace, uh, you have been pretty confident. Your confidence dropped in the last 24 hours. It's back up now. It's getting back up. You're, You're back glad. at, yeah, yeah, I'm number one. All right. Here we go, boys. Let's go. The f- next person in line with Just an IQ. Just now, anybody want to bet that Scott DePace is not number one? <laughs> well, I've seen Shut up, goal, Robin. So. Why do you keep saying that? All right. Here I'm, we go. You know, you go take Gary, the test. you are please. sweating. I'm sweating like a pig. I took my jacket off. My pits are stained. What's going on? It's fucking hot in here. But, but Gary, <laughs> you're all so nervous. You're, 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 you're in. You're in the top three. I know, but it's well, just fucking finish it. <laughs> He's producing. Sir, finish you're you're, you're going to pass out. I, I know. <laughs> Howard, maybe you have to take a break. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jeff the Drunk, who's going to be um, who's going to be the next one eliminated? The pace. The pace. Hi, pitch. Who's the next one eliminated? I would have to say Scott the pace. What do you, you say, Sal? You know these guys. I would say Gary Delabate. Gary Delabate will be the next one to go? You can't go based on who you hate the most. No, I don't hate you at all, Gary. You're I just, just think guessing. that you're a little delusional sometimes, and you think you're smarter than other people. <laughs> I, I, here's what I know. Here's what I know for be- fact. Here's what I know for fact. I'm at least 15 to 16 points higher than you. That's a all lot. All right. Oh, um, you're, you're pretty Scott smart. You can do basic math. Based on what you know, who do you think? You've you got a high IQ. I think Jason is out next, and only probably because he was so nervous about this. I think nerves have something mm. to do with taking this test. All right. So you're saying that really the top two come down between Scott and Gary. <laughs> yeah. JD, who do you think said next one to be eliminated? I think uh, just based on like age and stuff, I'll say Jason. Jason. Yeah, life experience, whatever. Life experience, life okay. Experience. Scott. Like, that has anything Scott. to do with anything. <laughs> who does uh, here Fred we go, think? guys. Who does Fred think? Fred, who do you think is the next one to go? It's this is too close to call now. Ow. It's that tight. Close. Gary, Jason, or Scott is going out next. Which one do you think is out next? For selfish reasons, I would like Scott to be out next. Robin, who do you think's out next? <laughs> well, Good to know I you like love Fred. Scott. I like to have Scott out next. Well, here we go, boys. At an IQ of 118, nothing to sneeze nice at. He's talking about his bet, Gary, dummy. Here we go. <laughs> Gary. <laughs> Gary, it's not you. Oh. <laughs> Either Scott or Jason, which would be a major wow. upset. And Jason that would be devastated. So this is it. Now we're head-to-head. Mm. Here now we you're go. head-to-head finally. You guys, <laughs> you guys have been arguing about who's smarter. Right. You call each this other idiots. It. You stand opposites on the political spectrum. Come on, Jason. I would like to say those general knowledge questions should not have been in this test. Uh-oh. It's the pace, I'm telling you. <laughs> Scott, you've always said you're smarter than Jason, haven't you? Yeah, I, I know I am. Jason. You know you're smarter than Scott, don't you? Yes, sir. This is important. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Very important. Jason. Uh oh. You're not smarter than Scott DePace. Oh, oh, yes! oh, 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 o
no. <laughs> wow. Gary, yeah. you are smarter than Jason. Okay. And it now comes down to two wow. people. Get out of here, boy. Wow. So, so <laughs> let's do this. So, so now there's two numbers left. Jason, are you all right? <laughs> this is shaking your world. I know you wanted to be number one badly. What's the number? 118. Yeah, no, I'm not upset by the number. I'm actually fine with the number. Damn but it, I, I should have put more money on myself. One wow. of these two guys is of superior. I had a thousand dollars on you and I took it off. Yeah, you fuck you nut. idiot. Why'd you, you do me, that? Because you talk like a moron. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you for doing that, by the way. You're welcome. Maybe both of these guys are of superior intelligence. We don't know. Jeez. But you at you least me out one of, of them I is did of not. superior Gary intelligence. Gary was an you idiot. You talked me out of it. <laughs> How am I an idiot? All right, here we go. Howard. Yes, doctor. Can I give Jason just a little a, a little pat on the back? Mm. Go, ahead. Go ahead. He scored highest over everybody in the one area that is used. If you pick one test that you really represent IQ most succinctly by, yes. Jason scored in the 99th percentile, of which what? is very superior, top of the top. Of what category? It's what we call the verbal comprehension category. And what, what give me, I mean, we remember the those test. Were, those were, that had to do with information questions, things about uh, general, knowledge. General, general knowledge. It's the exactly. place where Scott the wants crap, you the, to, right. to exactly. drop the test. So, so this is, okay. by the way, this is Scott already uh, defaming the test, saying we, general knowledge is unimportant. Uh, I know yeah. the important Howard. spatial stuff. And is it that stuff you can learn? Ladies and gentlemen, well, stuff you let's can learn. stop well, the shenanigans. Has One to test, do with being the able to test learn. speaks for itself. Howard, I think if you talk to Jason a little bit, you can make him cry. Uh, uh, Jason, are you all right? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm all right. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> I, I hate not winning, man. I, 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 I come so close in all these contests. I always make it to the final three, the final two, and I just can't get over the top. Even in the weight loss. I Even the weight that. loss, I lost at the last second, and yesterday yeah. I lost, and, and today Are you a loser? I lost. <laughs> yes. Even with a 118, you feel you lost because you really wanted to beat Scott. It wasn't so much a Gary thing. It was more a Scott. No, this was, I mean, it, w- it would have been great to beat Scott, but I wanted to win. Scott has a smile <laughs> on his face. <laughs> <laughs> sm- look at you. Oh, it's so awesome, dude. <laughs> hey, what did you say on the wrap-up show yesterday, Jason? You're fat, ugly, and you're not good at sports. And all yeah. you had to look forward to was winning this? Like, yeah. You lost it. <laughs> <laughs> it sucks. It sucks. <laughs> It's going to be a lot of shenanigans on this show. Oh, M- Jason may have only lost by a point. I mean, come on, DePace. Well, the, the top person does have a 122. 122. And, and so can uh, you tell us what the two numbers are? that left? It's 122, and what's the other number? How close are It comes people? down to between Gary and Scott mm. DePace. So two. one of these two guys is a 122. By the way, I've already exceeded expectations. Yes. I'm not even supposed to be the standing result, on the top The result two. is shocking because yeah. everyone thought it was going to be Scott and Jason standing yeah. there. For some reason, they convinced us. <laughs> Jason um, convinced. Well, I think we were right. We were top three. <laughs> so what are the two numbers? Okay, the two numbers, you boys are separated by one point. Wow. One so they're person, both of superior intelligence. They're both oh. superior intelligence. One person has a 121. That already irritates me that he's of superior <laughs> intelligence. <laughs> well, you it don't could know be that yet. you. Well, no, both are, because one's oh. a 122, oh. one's a 121. You one just two, don't mean and if you take Gary's you. memory part out of it, he probably did miserably. It's a test. If you take out <laughs> the English on the SAT, well, you you're better Gary, than me. If you give Gary a lobotomy, <laughs> but right. you know he would what? probably do better. This is exactly what Gary said Scott would do. You're so so not complex. You're so easy to read. What is it, Ralph? I'm totally pulling for Gary because if Scott loses that by that one point, then I win my bet against Scott because I get the 10 points. Oh, right. mm. Come on, Howard. Gary. Can we take one final bet in Howard Stern show fashion? Go ahead. Would the loser be willing to submit to a teabagging? Why? Why, Why would, would I do that? that? Well, Gary, if you think you're smarter than DePace. No. no. What so do I get? This again proves your lower intelligence. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> thanks for reminding me. Uh, be, be quiet, Sal. <laughs> Hi, Sal. Best to keep quiet now. Don't even talk to these two guys, Sal. They're too smart for you. The, the, these guys are way out of your league. I'll tell you what it does prove, though, that you're gay, because you always <laughs> want to take your penis out. I'll, I'll get teabagged by All right. Oh Here we God. go. And wow. now the person with the highest IQ gets the bragging rights and everything. Robin, who is it going to be? Oh, I don't want it to be Scott DePay. Could you have written this, by the way? Isn't this where it should be? I want it to be Gary, this is and I love that it wow. could be Gary. And Ganji has, what, 200 on me, I think? Uh, Fred, who's going who's gonna to walk away? The winner. Well. Between DePay and Gary. It's separated by one point. I'm still giving it to Gary. 
Uh, doctors, statistically, Sorry, Mr. spatial relations. Statistically, <laughs> it means nothing. It's statistically, one point. One point it, you know, someone could have just had a bad day. Especially right? at this level. That's right. Right. Yeah. That's okay. right. So it's really even. And, yeah. Especially at I our level. Gary was Gary was definitely more nervous than Scott was. Coming. Okay. Really? You told me I looked stressed out. He told me that right to my face. I go, right. wow. You started out and then you evened out, Scott. Oh, I was all right. Here we go. Evened out. Let's right. find out. All right. <laughs> Stop looking at me. <laughs> the person who is smartest, the person who has earned bragging rights beyond anything we can comprehend, the person who's going to go on the wrap-up show every day and go, you dumb fucks. <laughs> uh, well, that mean, does that mean it's Gary? Because he's on the wrap-up show every day. So are you. I've if, heard if you, you on many times. I'm against that show. <laughs> when you decide to show up again and not be a baby, you can say it. <laughs> the person with a 122 IQ of superior intelligence taking the number one spot Don't Gary, listen. you hate Scott. You, he, I don't he, hate he him. He doesn't talk to him. But I don't you have said him. he's stupid because he can't even comprehend the, the argument that you're having. He refuses him. to listen. Right. And, and, and listen and, would and, be a and, sign of low no, intelligence. listen means if he doesn't agree listen, with I mean. him. He wants me to just to agree with him all the time. That's, mm -hmm. that's the difference. Gary, how badly do you want to beat Scott? I'd like to beat him. And I'm, like I said, I've already to. surpassed. Gary, how much would you love it if I told you right now that you won? I'm not going to give you the answer you want, because then, you, then you're going to go, well, it's not you. I'm not saying that. I'm not Scott, playing your fucking reindeer games. I want to win, and I'm going to kick his ass. Scott, guess what? It's not me. It is me. It's not me. taking a break. Scott. Yeah? I'll give you your answer after these words. Ah, I got it. Oh, shit. All right, Scott, so we're in commercial break, waiting to hear the results. How are you feeling? I feel confident. I, if it was, if it was Size against, <laughs> if it were against Jason, that's I'd why he's bald. He pushed all his hair away from me. <laughs> if it were against Jason, I'd feel a little less confident. But I, I know I'm smarter than Gary, so I think I'm going to take this. Gary, yes. How you feeling, man? It's I've already won. I, I mean, I've already won in the sense that we're a point apart, and I'm already higher than I was supposed to be. Uh, everyone had me in the top three, and many people didn't even have me in the top three. So now here I am in the top two, a point away from the winner. And uh, so I don't really care. I won my 900 bucks. I won 900 bucks. And it, it would be nice. It would be nice to be the winner. But I'm not a loser. I haven't lost in any way. Welcome back to the game all of America loves. What's your IQ? With your host, Howard Stern. Robin, it's exciting. Guys, put up that chart so far so we can review for anyone tuning in late. We're down to the top two IQs on our staff. If you remember, Wendy the Retard was uh, lowest with 61. Uh, you had uh, High Pitch Eric coming in with 66, although the testers believe that Eric could have done much better if he tried harder. Yeah, he so, doesn't uh, act like a 66. So that's pretty good news for you, my friend. Uh, Jeff Caro, Jeff the Drunk, uh, came in with an 89 with, a, with this to say that Jeff's high Q is actually higher because of his handicap in his arm. He couldn't test as well, so that's got to be. He's a big definitely relief. underachieving. Right, and uh, and then Shut we look. <laughs> <laughs> In other words, your IQ is higher than indicated. I'm a normal guy. Evidently, like I always thought. Uh, speaking of normal, Sal, no one could be more normal than you at 102. Thank God. I was afraid you'd you'd actually fall below Jeff, and you've actually. I hope you've processed this. This is a good thing. You're average. Yeah, this is good, and I won all my bets. You, you know? did. I yes. don't even know where I fell out on the bets. Am I? How am I doing over there, Johnny? Am I down or am I up? You're down 300. I am. Yeah. Good Lord. I'm in bad shape. I'm in bad shape, too. Who's up? Who's winning money? Who's winning money here? I know. I'm, I'm up 900. I'm actually winning. Should have had that 1,000 with Robin. How dare you? Hey, can I point out something, <laughs> by the way? Oh, my God. You, yeah. you chickened out. <laughs> You're not you let Robin talk you out of it. She did. She I did. didn't talk him out of it. Somehow anything. my conversation with Gary on the air turned, made you think that I wasn't intelligent. That was ridiculous. I had you from the beginning. I know. All right. Can What's I just a, say, yeah. I, I, I got to take a swipe at Ralph, because Ralph said something about me yesterday, and I need to point it out. Go ahead. So I'm at, you are in the top two. I'm right at now. least nine points smarter than Ralph. Ralph told the whole audience yesterday that I'm a fucking dummy <laughs> because I gave him three of the answers on the wrap-up show. So I gave him three answers, and he still can't come with a nine <laughs> points. Oh. 
Ralph, admit it. You're shocked that Gary is this high up. You you always think Gary's dumb. You've said it to me in private. I know. No, you think he's I, a little I'm not, dopey. I, I thought Gary would be in the top three. I did. You did. All right. I did. All right. So Jeff the Drunk had an 89. So you, you, wait, hold on. You also bet me that you were smarter than me and you lost that. I did. I thought. I still think I'm smarter than you. See? <laughs> That's just how I am. You lost. I know I am. Gary, you were tested by somebody different. Gary and Scott DePace are walking around like Tinkerbell. I mean, they're almost <laughs> flying. They're lifting off the ground. They're so well, happy. Well, they're of superior intelligence. Um, they can. It's generally agreed that Jason, I don't know where Jason is, but uh, oh, there he is. Right. He's very, very Aww. upset. And it's really agreed that he really wanted this bad. <laughs> I did. It meant I the really most wanted that. <laughs> is this going to affect the way you argue with Scott DePace? He is going to oh, have the yeah. final say now. He's going to say, you know, oh I'm God. a lot more intelligent than you. Yeah, I stopped <laughs> arguing with Scott DePace, and I'm definitely going to hold to that for now on. Because, yeah, I, I mean, I'm what, not. what's the point? I can't listen to the, uh, his idiocy and then have him go, well, I go to 121. 122. <laughs> yeah, it's over. It's over. Uh, All right, we saw a Sal with a 102, JD with a 106, Ralph with a 112, surprising a lot of people, Richard with a 117, the big shot of the day was Richard. No one, no one expected yeah. that. That's why I lost He's the bulk of my money. He's even looking more intelligent. Yeah, look Thank at him. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't it, look so dull. I'm it's even dumb. worse with Richard because if he's got all these brains, he's clearly squandering it. Right. No, I'm having a great time. In fact, the shocking news was that Jason and Richard are separated by one IQ point. Oh, wow. They're basically in a statistical uh, dead heat. I don't get that. Uh, doctors, would you say that's a statistical dead heat? That's as close as it gets. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Wow. Jason, kill yourself now. Jace, Jason. <laughs> I'm working on it. Jason's fired from Geek Time, by the way. Uh, Jason, so you're Wait taking... A second. I still beat you. <laughs> Jason, okay. look at the bright side. You're still fat and ugly. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, boys. The, the teasing will go on for months. Barely beat Jeff, dude. You know, there are shut a up lot of people that. who are praying now that it's not Scott DePace, I know. Winner. There's yeah. a lot and, of... And this keeps coming from Robin. What the hell is that? No, 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 no. What's I'm going on? Talk, I'm talking about what people are Gary, saying. How do you know what people are saying? I have plenty of people who tell me they were voting for me. No, that's Gary, just what you hear. They Gary went out in the that, hall. But they're not. Gary well, who out. are you talking to? Let, let Howard talk. Gary went out in the hall. Yes. And Doug Goodstein was congratulating uh, Gary, going, hey, man, I hope it's you. And then he ah. found out two seconds earlier, it was Scott DePace. He was saying, I hope it's you. No, he did <laughs> both. Yeah. both. Yeah. He, he, gave, he gave him the hands. He gave, he gave the, the power. Well, shirt. I'm just saying yeah. I talked to a few people, and the... The majority of people here are hoping, praying that it's not Scott DePace. <laughs> and I get it. You are the great white hope. Can I just tell you one other thing? <laughs> it's already funny things have happened. So during the break, Benji gets me, normal Benji, quietly goes, listen, man, the only reason I bet against you is because you were so, didn't have any confidence. I think you're a smart guy, but you know. And it was like just funny because Benji was being totally normal. Well, this is the biggest game show in the history of game shows. You know that. This is the ultimate prize. And what are the, Wait, well, Howard, 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 what's the classification on this now? Well, anybody in this classification, you're talking to the higher register of superior intelligence. Superior intelligence. Howard. Am I correct, doctors? Well, this is Definitely, the, this is definitely the, the big game here. Big Howard, game, yeah. superior intelligence. Here's what you need to do. You're always talking about how you get ripped off. You have to patent this. Imagine that you just go to offices, and the game show is everyone gets tested. Well, Gary, I am producing. I'm back in the producing business. I am bringing this to television, this game. Leno's doing it tomorrow night. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Too late. Okay. <laughs> right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. <laughs> you know, every... Place of work. <laughs> Someone always thinks they're smarter than their coworker. This is the game where you find out who really is the <laughs> smartest. Scott DePace, you uh, think you're a pretty bright guy. Yeah. Well, clearly you are. Yeah. But are you smarter than Gary? <sighs> Well, I know he did better on the memory part, so oh, already, qual already yeah. qualified. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm just telling you what your strengths are. I know what my You're strengths are. I'm, either, I'm either one point below you or one point, one point above you. Come one on, of you Come has on, twice the brain power of Wendy the retard. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I That's don't right. even think that matters. Twice the brain power of well, Wendy. I'm just giving out the statistics. <laughs> <laughs> and now for your answer. You've waited long enough. Scott, do you think you won? Yeah. Gary, do you think you've won? I genuinely don't know. I lack the hubris of my the guy next to me. He, he lacks look, confidence. He can go look that up later. Now what is what hubris? Is, yes, what does hubris mean? <laughs> Jason, you still lost. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm still a loser. What right. a shock! Thirty one right. years Ooh. later. <laughs> Always a bridesmaid, never the bride. <laughs> Life sucks. Oh come on! Here we you go. You know what? Statistically, these two are dead heat. Right. That's right. But yeah, who do you think won, Robin? I think Gary won. Well, Robin, you would be 
Uh, <laughs> Incorrect. A person who has guessed some of these right and some of these wrong. <laughs> That's what I have. Douchebag. <laughs> Gary, your IQ beats all the other guys but Scott DePace. Uh, yeah! Oh, <laughs> Scott! Oh, <laughs> oh, no. Woohoo! God, yes. why did you guys talk me out of it? Scott DePace, 122. Oh. Gary Delabate, 121. Which is a very good number. Oh, I, I, yeah. I, I have not bumped it. it. I, it. I, <laughs> this is what everybody was afraid of. They said, we'll never be able to live with Scott. Yeah. This is devastating. We couldn't live with To a lot of people. <laughs> we couldn't live with him before. Right. Anytime yeah. you do something, Too Scott bad. will be beating you up with that 120. Right. And Scott, oh, uh, to Jason's 118. Oh, oh that's far superior. Oh, Four man. points. That's wow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, doctors, there are so many different categories as I look through the sheets of paper where some people did extremely well in one area. You can, you guys can look at these sheets of paper and find out uh, how you did. But uh, Dr. Sit and Dr. Mugley, thank you for helping us with so this. So what were Scott and Gary's strengths? Well, I can look at your sheet right now and tell you. No problem. By, by the way, Dr. Mugley asked me out. She said I could come back and we can go over, <laughs> oh, quote unquote, go over the results. Wait, Dr. <laughs> Dr. Sit said the same thing to me. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Were you dreaming when I asked you out? <laughs> yes. He's yes. delusional. You didn't delusion. test him for that. Delusion. You caught that, right? Uh, by the way, uh, yes, here's that. Gary Delabate had uh, superior intelligence. He was a high average in verbal comprehension. He was average in perceptual reasoning, but very superior in working memory. That's where you went mm. up. And high average in processing speed, whatever that is. I don't even know what that is. And Scott DePace, you were high average in verbal comprehension, really? very superior in perceptual reasoning, superior in working memory, and in processing speed average. So, What's working memory? What, what um, was that? I don't know. That was the memory well, stuff. Memory, the, yeah. numbers. Was the numbers. We're going to so, give you numbers. You have to remember them forward and then repeat uh, them backwards. So that was what is processing? Because that's the area that I did better than him in. So what's processing? What is processing, doctor? Processing speed is the ability to really get through information and figure out as you're moving along. That was the key. How to sh What's that? He, yeah, he, key, what exactly. he would do, he would give you uh, 10 numbers with a, a symbol below it, and you right. had to go through and fill in the symbol. To I see. So it works well under pressure with time restraints, like if you were doing a live show, that sort of thing? <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, it, it just goes Didn't to Didn't you get average you. in that? No, I got no, a superior. I got a superior. superior. Well, boys, we'll sort this all out with the bets and everything else, but I do want to congratulate everyone. There was a little good news for everyone, actually. I mean, Sal, uh, you proved to people you are a normal human being, and right. good for you. No one will um, ever believe that, but it's nice to know. Jeff, you surprised people. Eric, you came out because no one can even figure out if you really took the test for real. Uh -huh. I did take the test. Yeah, but you say You're you didn't. still confounding people, Eric. <laughs> but you say you tried hard. I, I did try hard. All right. It wouldn't yeah. serve him at all to have been normal. Right. The testers can't even believe he tried hard. Yeah, but it wouldn't have served him to be normal, right. so I he tried. didn't give it any, you tried. Effort. Yeah. All right, any effort whatsoever. And uh, who knows? I think you should go out with Wendy based on these results. <laughs> <laughs> I went out with her in Vegas. You did. I didn't know that. You two hooked up. Yeah, we were kissing each other. You were? You and Wendy? No. Oh. 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 I didn't know that. Yeah. The, you two, know, the two of them kissing don't equal Scott. <laughs> uh, Scott, you feeling pretty good? Yeah. 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 You want to say something as the winner of this fantastic uh, contest? To all you uh, idiots. underlings, yeah. idiots, uh, <laughs> you know. <laughs> no, congratulations, hey, Gary. Hey, doctors, what <laughs> is the, surprise me, help what is the margin of error in this test? The margin of error is 90, it's a 95% confidence, so it's a 5% margin of error. So there could be a five-point swing, either way. Yeah, that's right. correct. Exactly. exactly. No, exactly. not on over yeah, 120, it would be like a four-point swing. No, he, the, your, the doctor just told you to five I'm telling points during you. you 95%. He's so smart, he's arguing with the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> He'll argue with anybody. Scott, will you be a gracious winner, and will you mentor Jason and help him to increase his intelligence at all? I do that all the time. I try to tell him about the, how right the Republicans are, and he doesn't understand it. Uh, JD, uh, you re you surprised by these results a little bit? Uh, no, I you know what the the you know I had a glimmer of hope that I might be the one twenty two, but mm. <laughs> <laughs> tell you laughing at Karen, asshole. Uh, you know, but uh, you know whatever, it's what can par for the course. Yeah. Well, I'm boys, not gonna kill myself. <laughs> you're all very brave to go against the IQ testers. I will mention again, Doctor Sit and Doctor Mugley. 
A couple of the guys had a crush on Dr. Uh, Mugley, and I won't even mention which ones were uh, had a crush on Dr. Sid. <laughs> Dr. Sid, had, he had a nice ass. He Can't, had a nice ass. You, like, you were attracted to Dr. Sid. I'm just saying. All right. Do you know Dr. Sid was voted the best-looking professor in some college magazine? Is that true, Is that Dr. Right? Sid? Mm. Yeah. Great, my professor. I believe it. Eighth, eighth in the country, they say. Anybody attracted to Dr. Sid and who took the test? He's handsome. Eric, were you attracted to him at all? I, I, I wasn't with him. Oh, you weren't with him. All right. <laughs> Unfortunately. Can you take this test again, and how long do you have to wait before you can take it again? Six months. What did you, you say, Eric? Again. I would say it's, six it's, months. You can take it again, but you should, you should wait a significant amount of time before taking the test again. Otherwise, they have something called practice effects. I see. Are there different questions? No. No, you can have the, You can actually take the same test again, but you probably want to wait. You know, hmm. at least. It'd be I great if you say. went down if you took it the second time. <laughs> um, Scott, will you be on the wrap-up show today, bragging at all? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think Gary wants me there. I, you can come. Are you? We're, we're, we're equal intelligence. <laughs> You well, well he's a little bit more intelligent. Not really. Yes. Well, let's you be would have to really say. Not okay, not here we go. Really. I, am, not, I, know. I am of superior intelligence, and I will have a guest on of the same intelligence. Right. I had. Oh, that's not fair. <laughs> right. I'm above, I'm above you. You got to go with that. Statistically, it's a dead heat. Mm. No, it's not, because I yes, could have been that, that much higher as well. You All beat right. me by a point, oh and I recognize God. that. Well, uh, Scott. This is what we're going to have to live and with, Robin, doctors. You were wrong. I won. <laughs> Scott, hey, um, but it didn't cost me a thousand. Scott, will you, uh, <laughs> will you, do you even want to direct the show anymore? You may have brainier things to do in life. <laughs> exactly. Well, you know what's really funny? Some products. He's <laughs> bragging now, but he lost confidence so much. You know, the other day, everybody was willing to bet him that he wasn't the well, top guy. Right. You're very persuasive. And, he, and we said, if you really had confidence in yourself, you'd bet your house. You'd Jason, been the general knowledge stuff. Today. Jason, you said on the sh- wrap-up show yesterday that the inventor of the video caddy could no way beat you, and yet uh, he has. Oh, man. I-, I think you should use some of those IQ points and put them into inventing a better product that actually sells. I actually just did think of one on the way in this morning. So <laughs> Is it better than a clamp? Yeah. yeah, yeah it's, you a, know what? it's a putting I, machine. I I said oh, yeah, there's none of, those. none of those. I said he'd be like the scarecrow in The Wizard of Oz now. Yeah. All of his thoughts are just brilliant. He'll just hey, start I, spouting. Oh, yeah. I'm starting, well, hey. to, I'm starting to want to go into business with this. I, don't know. I got one more question for the doctor. Clamp, you say, huh? Yeah. I got one more question for the doctor. Yes. On the, on the gen- uh, Dr. Sit will remember. On the general knowledge portion of the test, there were two answers that I didn't get that were, I knew after the test that were relatively simple. Had I gotten those two correct, would that have put us at it uh, evenly? It's uh, a very good question. I don't think it would have made him. Uh, I don't think it would have. Because I'll feel better now. But I've got the same, you know. I've got th- th- yeah, three Scott or four asked me a question the other day. I thought it was pretty easy, but uh, he, he didn't get it right. So yeah, everybody has their weaknesses and strengths. All right, exactly. boys. Uh, uh, first of all, Dr. Sit, Dr. Mugley, thank you. Check out Dr. Sit at mindfulconsultinggroup.com and drsit.com. And check out Dr. Mugley at psychologytoday.com. And Dr. Sit is spelled hey, no. Dr. S-I-T-T. Uh, Ralph, it doesn't sound like you're getting a date with Dr. Mugley. <laughs> wow. uh, that's too bad. Stick with Patty. Robin. Uh, uh, Dr. Scott, Dr. Mugley didn't Robin. distract well, you. I think you, you would have done better. Can't yeah. a, you can't, can't what? comprehend Robin, things on the would wrong. would you like to say that I you won? You can't comprehend things on the wrong. Would you, you like know, to like say that I won, like Robin? This, when are getting, you taking the test, Robin? You're getting You'll get a 102. Information. You really can't process it all that Go well. Go ahead. You want to <laughs> congratulate me, Robin? I will never forget that you don't <laughs> process the information well. Yeah. I got a little dopey. I was trying to impress a hot chick. <laughs> Were you really staring at Dr. Mugley to the point that it distracted you? Are you, are you blaming <laughs> me on that? Absolutely. It's her fault. She should have not worn something so uh, attractive. Wow. Can I, can you're, I, really, you're smitten. <laughs> <laughs> Can I also say about the bets between Ralph and I, I said I would beat him by 10 points. Right. I beat him by 10 points. That's no, right. I win. It's a push. I win. You didn't beat what me. What was it? 112 to 1 and plus 10 you had. Yeah. Yeah. So he's 122. I'm, it's a tie. I beat him it's by 10 points. It's a tie. It's called a push, push. you dummy. I beat you by 10 points. No, you didn't. Nine points. You, you would have won. 123. If I say to you, Dr. Sit, you're very intelligent. Can you answer this one? <laughs> so if I tell the guy I will beat him by 10 points and I beat him by 10 points, don't no. I win the bet? Yes. It's a tie. No. no, it depends. If you said more than 10 points. Yeah. 
then we Scott, said that ties would be a, would be a push. Well, we said it two minutes ago. I no, wasn't we thinking said it about. A while it. Hey, Doctor no, Sid, didn't. you don't know what you're doing. This guy's going to go back and listen to the tape. The question is: Was it an over and under bet, or was it a ten point bet? And who is this Doctor Sid? You're paying me, Ralph. No, I'm not. You lost. So it was never said over. It was plus ten. That yeah. was how it was said. It's on called the plus a push. Ten. I'll it's go back and listen. I think you have to go back with Scott. He's the most intelligent here. Whatever he says, go. Sounds like Scott won that bet. He's the Ayatollah now. Jason, you're saying mean shit from this point forward, my friend. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, boys. All right, thanks, doctors. Uh, thank you for uh, thank calling you. in and being a part of this nonsense. And, uh, My pleasure. All right, we appreciate it. There they are, Dr. Right. Sit and Dr. Mugley. Thank you. And, Robin, there you have it. My Amazing. new game show. I'm sweeping America by storm. Now let's figure out where the money goes. <laughs> That's Nobody a be whole other game. Yeah. That'll be three days later. Uh, okay, boys, and uh, thank you for taking this exam. Yeah. I know thanks, good. Thank you, Howard. It was fun. You're welcome, and uh, <laughs> thanks to uh, Eric and, uh, of course, Jeff the Drunk. Eric, you want to plug Howard. something? Hey, uh, Howard, I just, want, I just want to say I love you, and I did try my best with this IQ test. And you got a 66. You can't complain, right? Right, and I want to say to my <laughs> best friend, Tony, from Unforgettable Fire. Right, and by the way, you're Six, you're 66 points higher than I thought you were going to get, so I congratulate you on that. Thank you so much. I love you. I love you, too. And, Jeff, <laughs> yeah. uh, congratulations to you. Even though you got an 89, they're saying you could have been much higher because of your handicap. Thank you, Eric. Eric, so you got a 66, yes. and you seem to be okay with that. I'm okay with it. I mean, look, no one's perfect in this world, and not everybody's normal. So, you know, look, I tried, and... That, that, that's all I have to say. I try. Yeah, it was weird. The doctor was concerned that you actually weren't trying. I, I was what? That you weren't trying. Why would you say that? I was trying. I was trying. All right, so you're fine with it. I'm fine with it, yes. Just being a little above Wendy the Retard, that doesn't bother you? No. Right, it does man. not. It's not going to change your life, right? It's not going to change my life. My life will still stay the same. Jeff, so what do you think of your score? It was normal. You tried. I tried. What can I do? Are you a little disappointed? I am. Oh well. What's gonna happen? Your life isn't gonna change, right? No, no not at all. Fucking so you still uh you're still sweating though. I'm still sweating. Why is that? What's the matter? You're, you're obviously so not nervous that. anymore. Because you're so damn cute. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. I'm very upset the way they tested him. That was BS. I lost the money. money Why? Because it's like saying you're, they're supposed to do different tests when someone has a physical handicap. They wouldn't say like a blind person, oh, you're illiterate. You can't read. Look at this book. You're not reading it. I, I think you probably should be about like uh, at least 10, 20 points higher. At least. Yeah. Focus. But I'm pissed about because I lost a lot of money on it, but I really think you are. What, what's five times five? One five. Yeah. Jeff, all Did you do that? What's five times five? Uh, 23. See? <laughs> but clap your hands. <laughs> See? That's where you See? fail. That's where you <laughs> fail. Jeff, you cost me a hundred bucks. Okay. You fucker. I thought you were going to be smarter than a dumbass Sal Governale. So did I. Oh, fucker. Sal, come here and collect your hundred bucks. Sal, Sal, come here. I'm gonna put it in fucking Jeff's underwear. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put my hundred bucks in Jeff's ass. Oh no, 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 Put it in your. I can't believe you cost me a hundred bucks, this idiot. Sorry. Robin, hey, I need my fifty. Hey, Sal. Bitch, well, give me my. Yeah. Who's stupid now, motherfucker? Sal. <laughs> he is. Sal, so you got a 102. Got a 102. Normal intelligence, which not too shabby. I fall right within the vicinity of the normal, average human being as far as intelligence is concerned. So that's pretty good. Not stupid, which is nice. Ganji's stupid. He lost a bet to me. Robin is stupid. She lost a bet to me. But me? Normal intelligence. Normal. What normal guy wouldn't do what I do? You know? Right? Did anyone shock you with their score? Great question. I think Ralph did a little better than I thought. You know? I think Ralph did a little better than I thought. Because the guy just sits home all day, smokes weed, steals money off of poker tables, hey, leeches. <laughs> no, I'm talking, about, I'm talking about Ralph. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, you know, doesn't finish projects. But, you know, Ralph's kind of like the opposite of me. Like, I'm normal and super creative. He's smart and a lazy sack of shit that doesn't get things done. All right, cool. So you're happy with your score? 
I'm, You're content with it. Yeah, I would say I'm content. What does content mean? <laughs> is it number one? Is that the box is that number one contents? I'm happy no. that in honor of Wendy's score, Sal's wearing her score on his hat. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you know, the, the crazy thing is, is that high pitch Eric's score was 27 plus 39. <laughs> See that? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, but I'm real happy. You know, I'm, I mean, I'm content with it. I wish I did a lot better. But again, it doesn't measure somebody's creativity and somebody's passion. And that's what I think I'm good at, you know? Uh, you know, with all, you know, with the with the things that I do for the show, like the game concepts we, I've come up with, uh, the man on the street concepts I've come up with, the phony phone calls, the songs, stuff like that. That's where I think I excel, and that's what's important. So I'm happy about that. JD, so you got a 106, yes. higher IQ. Yes. How are you feeling about that? It's fine. Um, you know, decent score. Decent. Better than uh, better than Jeff the Drunk and. Uh, Wendy to retard and high pitch Eric. So, you know, what am I gonna do? Were you surprised by any scores? Um, not, not necessarily. Uh, you know, I, uh, you know, I, I expect everyone to be fairly smart. So, uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, pretty much. So you're not bumming out? No. <laughs> what am I gonna do? You know? So what? <laughs> I'm a 106. I have 106 IQ. Yeah, I can, it's not bad. Can you change that anyway? Can you get that like larger? Can you increase your yeah, intelligence? Yeah, can you increase your intelligence? I don't think so. Oh, whatever, Jack. Exactly. <laughs> there he is. Great, JD. Normal intelligence. From one normal intelligent guy to another. Hey. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> Now shave that beard and then make it look smart. <laughs> Ralph, so you got a 112. Mm -hmm. Happy with that? I'm happy with that. That is high average. Did you think you were going to do that well? What did you think your score was going to be? Um, I'm not surprised by that. I thought because there was some stuff that I did really well in, which she confirmed, which was the reasoning, the deductive reasoning, I think that was like superior intelligence I got on that. We're going to see the breakdowns, which will be interesting. But I know where I choke, the, like the general information, and then there's things with numbers that I got, you had to work things out in your head, and I get confused with that. But I also think that I can take it again and do like 10 points better, because those things will, uh, those things, the things that I think that uh, I, f I failed on, I can do, I can learn. The, mm. the things that the, the figuring things out and that kind of thing, I don't think you can learn. You either have that ability or you don't. You know, you can't learn that. I can learn general information. I, I, yeah. I didn't, I, I can't say what it was, but I just, I, I, I had, I, I lost on some of the stupidest question, you know? So I choked a little bit, you know, because you're in there. It's almost two hours I was in there. And at some point you just get like, oh my God, you know, and you start overthinking some things and stuff, so. Did anyone uh, surprise you with their score? Uh, Richard definitely surprised me, and we were taken by the same person, but we're five points apart, and it, the test is a plus or minus five, so we're, we're pretty much even. I thought I would be Richard. I you definitely know, thought I would be Richard. What's going to happen with uh, your bet with the pace? I, it's a push. I mean, if he's so smart, he should be able to figure that out. But he's so smart, he's trying to weasel, you know, he's trying to weasel money out of me. You know, he's he's not that 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 the pace being the smartest does surprise me because he he is is uh, I I think to be smart you have to be open minded and he is so close minded so of his own thought and can see things one way I think that you, you know, the pace surprised me of, even over Richard surprised me I, I I don't see how that happens but again you know you got to see what the playing field is it's a bunch of all these dummies you know. It's not like you had Einstein in the group. <laughs> 117. Congratulations, Richard. Thank you. Apparently, my uh, brain didn't shrink with my weight. How do you feel about your score? I'm very happy with it. You know, I would have been happy with anything above 100, uh, but I'm really happy. I'm uh, very psyched. Now, you, uh, you did a little better than your buddy, Sal. But he did good. I'm proud he of him. He did. He did. He did really good. And... He has nothing to be ashamed of, and I still consider us equals no matter what. This is only a test. This doesn't measure anything except what they ask you about. It doesn't measure somebody's humor or somebody's um, kindness or somebody's um, 
pouch or somebody's um, ability to find the greatest piss videos in the world and uh, somebody's ability to make amazing prank calls so that to, that's all the stuff that matters to me because I love working here and I love working with Sal and the fact that Sal is a comedic genius is all that matters to me cool. all right good job buddy thank you very much I'm psyched I was really happy to take this because I've always been curious anyway I wasn't really nervous I was just curious uh, I've always wanted to take an IQ test and I, I you know I'm very thankful to Howard that I got to take one because these things are not cheap either you know they it's it's a very involved process to do this so I'm really happy and really excited now that I know exactly what my IQ is so thank you Howard Jason how you feeling buddy how do you think I feel? You know how much I wanted to win. I was standing at this stupid door yesterday telling you how badly I wanted to win, and now I lost. Uh, you know, 118, it's not a number I'm embarrassed by. It's a very good number, and I'm, very, I'm not upset with my number. I would have liked to have crossed over to that 120 threshold. Um, I like the thing that the guy told me that I scored in the 99th percentile, is that uh, one area that he said uh, is pretty much the meat of the test, so I will take that to heart and appreciate that. But at the end of the day, this was a contest, and there's winners and losers in life and I did not win this contest which makes me a loser so what bothers you more that you weren't the winner or that you didn't beat the pace both I mean if I had lost but still beat the pace I would have felt better if uh, I had lost and Gary beat the pace I would have felt better I mean and the thing is again well I honestly I still don't have respect for Scott's intelligence on regardless of what the test says but again it's, it's more his personality like you know, he already has an insanely high opinion of himself, and this is just is bloating it up. Like, you know, I, I don't. So if I had gotten a higher score, I don't think I'd be as obnoxious about it. Scott was already obnoxious, and uh, I was just expecting more obnoxiousness to come. Um, so, yeah, it totally sucks he won from that standpoint. But again, I'm not going to sneeze that he was uh, four points better than me. The doctor said he had a five-point swing. Um, so... Uh, you know, listen, he won. On paper, he won. On the test, he won. But at the end of the day, I don't feel uh, that it's that big of a, a swing. So, cool. But, you know, but like I said, I lost. There's nothing, you can't change that. Numbers are the numbers. Gary, so you got a 121, and you said you're happy because you exceeded your expectations. But are you happy that, that the pace beat you? Listen, I would have liked to have beaten Scott, no doubt, but this is, was never a Gary Scott competition. In fact, most people didn't put me in the competition with Scott. It, was a, it seemed to be a Scott-Jason competition with me coming in third, and then that was even being questioned by a lot of people. So uh, we're a point apart. We're almost equal. He won. I can see that he won. He's, you know, a half of a fucking centimeter smarter than me, a millimeter smarter than me. And um, I, think I'm the, I think I'm the big winner today because I'm walking out with 900 bucks, I won in betting, and I'm smarter than most people thought I was. Cool. And um, did anyone, uh, anyone's IQ surprise you today? Uh, thought JD would do a little better. I was not surprised by Richard's IQ. I thought, I was the one all along saying I thought Richard was a smart guy. Um, Sal was the wild card, you know. I, if it would have been five points higher, I would have been shocked, and if it would have been five points lower, I wouldn't have been shocked. What was it, 105 or 102? 102, I believe. Yeah, he was you know, really three points away from being under 100, and I think that would have crushed him. I knew I was the smartest around here. Why did I let those dummies talk me out of it? I could have made a lot of money. Four points the yeah. other way, he's not even <laughs> superior. Yeah, let's see Robin take the test. <laughs> now, Robin and Gary are saying that you're pretty much the same intelligence as Gary. Yeah, that's the spin. Yes. I didn't, uh, you know, I didn't, maybe I'm not that bright. I didn't see that spin. Uh, coming, but I mean, you know, what are, what are they going to say? It's he, the producer of the show. He's got to be the, the top guy. So we'll have to live with uh, some explanation like that. Good. So you feeling good about yourself? Yeah. I mean, it's no shock. I, I thought I'd be uh, <laughs> superior intelligence to these guys. <laughs> Were you surprised uh, about Jason's score? Uh, to be honest, I was. I thought it would be Jason and I, number one and two, and Gary, either three or four. So Gary even surprised me, but um, yeah, apparently he's stupid.